States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Mr. Yeski, have we met the compliance with the open meeting laws? Uh, yes, the agenda has been posted on each of the buildings, uh, entrance doors, and website. Okay. Can I have a roll call, please? Scott? Here. Mike? Yes. Sue? Yes. I'm here. Kayla? Here. Do I have a motion to declare a legal meeting? I move to declare this a legal meeting. I'll second it. Okay, motion has been made and seconded to declare a legal meeting. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Recognition of the public who wish to comment to the board. Oh, I didn't notice if there was anything on the thing out there. Okay. Okay, we'll start out with the official oath for two reelected. Board members. Sheila, if you guys just want to read the top up there, starting with Holly. Okay. Can you read it together? Sure. Oh, sounds good. You ready? Yeah. Good. I, I Sheila Turney, have, have been, been elected, elected or appointed to the office of a new school board member. I swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin and will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of said office to the best of my ability. So help me God. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next item is the consent agenda items. Do I have a motion for approval? I move. You go ahead. I move to approve them. Agenda. I'll second it. Okay, motion has been made and seconded. Mike, would you like to give your uh, report? Yes, so so the finance report, uh, we had regular checks numbering 84129 through 84271 as regular checks, then manual checks 11211 through 11219. Then we had transfer checks numbering 2023-0014-114 to 2023-00128. Uh, fund 30 checks, we had one, 3504. Payroll checks, 43141 through 43518. And then direct deposit payroll checks of 9000-65810 through Nine zero 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 six six zero five seven. Total one million one. <laughs> the alarm is going off. Too much money. <laughs> okay, one million uh, one thousand nine hundred eighty nine dollars and eighty one cents. So that was for the the checks, and uh, as part of the finance committee, we go through and see the. You know the different checks into where they end up going and such to make sure things are going to where they are supposed to be all right uh we had a number of items uh, we did discuss and review the march uh, revenue and expenditures the 23 versus 24 budget and 23 actual versus what we have as a 23 24 budget and we are in good shape we started out the year negative uh, now we are slightly positive, partly due to some of the uh, warmer winter we had and a few other uh, types of expenses. Uh, we are looking at estimates, uh, but I'm not going to share any of them because there's still a bunch of the school year. But it looks like instead of a negative, we should be slightly positive. And in that money, uh, hopefully we can go and put in Fund 46 so that we can do some of our, our projects and everything. Uh, we did discuss uh, a lease agreement with Little Sprouts, and we're continuing to work on that. Uh, then uh, we did look at our debt payment schedules. Uh, we have both a Fund 38 and a Fund 39 for that, and we're on schedule for that. And uh, 
you know, one of the payments we've got uh, two more years with, and uh, and that'll be done. So I think that's the unfunded liabilities mm -hmm. one. Uh, then we looked at a bus transportation contract that we will be looking at tonight, uh, and uh, and had a discussion. Jake, the bus contractor, was here, and we asked him questions. He asked us questions, etc. Uh, and then uh, also, uh, Mr. Yeski met with principals in a, or excuse me, superintendents in the consortium, and they negotiated. And uh, we'll go uh, a little bit with health insurance. And so that is being worked on with the negotiations with the teachers association. So those types of things. Uh, so we uh, had a, a fairly long meeting looking over all those items. Kayla, anything else you'd like to add? Um, nope. Okay. Kevin, anything that I missed? No, just a reminder that, that in health insurance is not just for the teachers, it's for all district oh, employees. So, yes. Thank you. Um, and that came in. Um, we've got that. Again, that's a something that's negotiated with our insurance broker with the other 13 districts that were in the consortium with us. So. Any other discussion? If not, um, all those in favor of approval of the consent agenda items, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Elementary principal's report. Okay, so uh, one thing to share before the report is to turn around for us. Uh, summer school. You should have gotten summer school packet. So these are the classes that we're offering. It's a nice selection again of, of uh, offerings for our students uh, in the district. Um, uh, after today, uh, tomorrow, parents will get an email with the link to do the online book. We also have hard copies at the elementary and middle high school for those who want a hard copy. And then a link will be sent out on Sunday. The link goes live to do online sign up on Monday at 7 a.m. It starts. Uh, the courses in here, all the teachers are in here, uh, who's teaching what. Um, there's one um, teacher who's uh, not in Auburndale, Mrs. Busneski. She's teaching with Mrs. Burt, um, a cooking class. Uh, she used to be one of our paras here. She's a teacher at Cedar Point School District. She got a job this past year. She was working for us last year. So uh, she's working with Mrs. Um, Burt for how sweet it is. So that's a fun class. But you can see we have our driver's ed and our hunter safety and some other on classes as well, a lot of enrichment. And then there's also the RBA component. We put that on there this year as well for our middle high school students. Um, we'd like to take some of those fun courses and other things as well. So if we wanted to share with the summer school, and then as far as with the elementary, we just continue heading into May, wrapping it up. And then in May, I'm gonna share kind of where we're going with the schedule and more um, detail about our plans of attack for fixing our growth um, for our school report card. And we're gonna do that. So, I'm sure the summer school is a big thing that we're working on right now. So. Any other questions or anything about it? It's pretty. The kids will get the, the elementary, they get a 15 minute recess every day with it again. I'll be taking recess duty. So yeah. Teachers get a little break. And it's 8 to 11, unless it's specified, like Mr. Knoyer's classes are different, things like that, different times. So Mr. Carl's driver said that's a whole other thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, and we're doing it in June and August again as well. So, but I know a lot of parents have been asking for it, so it's going up tomorrow so they can look. Sign up is live, and the online sign up works really well because some of these classes fill up real quick. So the computer figures out first come first serve. We don't have to have people waiting outside the door and knocking on the door, which has happened. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. Or so utilize a school course like we do and stuff like that again. So. Both buildings and the weight rooms and all that good stuff. All right. Anything else? Okay. Thank you. <coughs> um, so we've been busy with, with our testing. Uh, we had our high school students took the ACT, the pre-ACT, um, and right now our middle school is taking a forward exam, which they should be finishing up uh, by the end of this week. So that, that testing has been going well. I've been doing a lot of that uh, in the classrooms for the for our middle school students. Uh, as I said last uh, board meeting, we were experimenting with this program called PlexiPass. It's a hall monitoring program, just helps us um, see how many, how much time students are spending in the hallways, making sure they're not using passes every class, um, that sort of thing. So we've been kind of experimenting with that. It's been uh, free for the rest of this year for us to, uh, to pilot if we determine we like it and we can purchase it for next year. A lot of area schools have utilized programs similar to this 
and uh, we've already seen some some positives with that. Um, you know, sometimes kids can really loiter outside the classroom, and this really uh, is a way to kind of put a timestamp on things, and and that also kids uh, hurry up a little bit more too, and and, and won't uh, be gone for like 15 minutes because they realize that. Uh, so it's been a it's been a positive um, so far, and we're looking forward to seeing how it'll continue to uh, as we continue to learn how to use it for the rest of this year. We also had some busy events. We had the pancake feed, which was a great success. Um, Mr. Connor and, and crew were, uh, were extremely busy and, and did an awesome job with that. We had our, our tractor club had our brat fry also. Um, we sold over a thousand brats, brought in about $5,000 uh, for the family. Um, and we have our tractor day coming up uh, this Friday. So if, if you guys are able to uh, see the parade, it starts at eight o'clock at the fire station, comes by the elementary school and then up to the high school um, looking like we're going to have about 30, 38 tractors, I believe is what we're, we're at right now. So um, rain or shine, and it looks like it's going to be uh, probably either one of those. It's probably <laughs> not even cold, but uh, most of the tractors have caps, so it'll, it'll go well. Um, we also had Sleep in Heavenly Peace, um, just some really neat community events uh, that we've had in the last month that has been really awesome just to show uh, in case what our, what, our, uh, what our school and community are all about. We had our junior prom already on April 6th. So if you see Asa Sapi or McKaylee Center, be sure to congratulate them on being king and queen. Um, I thought the event ran really smoothly. Um, and so thank you to, uh, to Mrs. Meinl as a junior advisor for planning that and, and getting it all, all squared away and all the chaperones who helped out. Um, it's nice to get that one in the books. Mm -hmm. uh, we're one of the first schools to do it. And uh, so it's kind of a relief when that's, when that's done. So uh, I'm glad it went well and everyone had a good time. We have some upcoming events coming up. Uh, we have Bob Lenz, who will be speaking to our students in April. Really looking forward to having him speak. Um, the Culture Committee uh, has uh, has brought him in, and uh, he'll bring a great message to our students, and I'll be able to report on that at our next meeting um, on how that goes. But I'm really excited to have him coming in. What is the date on that? The 23rd or 24th. Yeah, it's actually two different days. Right. Oh. He'll be presenting at the elementary school first. Um, oh, okay. You know, yeah, the 23rd, and then 23rd he'll be at, the, at the high school on the 24th. Okay. And he'll be doing two presentations at the high school, um, one for the middle school, one for the high school. Okay. Now, if community members wish to come in, do they sign up, talk with you? Yeah, the yeah, if there's somebody interested, definitely. Um, I don't have an issue with that. We'll have plenty of space in the new gym. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that would be, that'd be excellent. Uh, we also are looking to bring in another speaker, uh, Mr. Yao Yang, actually I have him scheduled for the end of April. Um, April is Hmong History Month, and Yao Young is a Hmong refugee who also served in the military. Um, he has a great story. He is, uh, when I was uh, principal at Columbus, he spoke there. Um, really an engaging speaker and really helps our students see um, some diversity uh, in some different cultures. And, uh, and you know, he speaks about the uh, Hmong culture and how, you know, they, they, they fought with us in, in uh Vietnam, and uh, so it's just it's a really good, really good message. We're looking forward to having him speak to the, the middle school and high school, and then also the fifth graders will be coming over um, as well to to hear that. Uh, that and that is on April thirtieth. Uh, we have the duck strip, which is the next day on May first. So I know Joran and her leadership class have been busy planning that. Um, we have is it three buses or four buses? Four buses, four buses uh, um, lined up to go. So really good turnout. Um, they just do an awesome job. I can't speak enough. Um, for how well our leadership class and, and Jordan does um, in, in, uh, in recognizing veterans. And, and it's just a really neat, neat event. So looking forward to that. When they come back, there's a big, uh, you know, we, we, we welcome them back in the, in the high school gym. Um, so if you're able to be there, if you want to see that, that'll be near the end of the day. Kind of depends on their time frame when they're coming back, but I predict around 2.45, um, somewhere around there, if you're interested on that day to come in and see that. It's really, really neat. You know, a lot of teary eyes for the veterans when they come through as we uh, recognize them. Graduation coming up on May 17th. Uh, so, you know, and the senior awards will be uh, that Wednesday right before, which is why our board meeting got moved uh, in May. Students of the month for March for Perseverance were Lakota Nemec, Waylon Budke, and Terry Weber <coughs> in the middle school. And the high school was Greg Brumman and Josh Lundgren. So if you see those students, be sure to Congratulate them as well. And our spring sports are in, in full swing. Uh, last night, the softball had a really cold game, uh, but they, they pulled it off at home. And uh, the middle school and, and uh, both softball and baseball also played at home last night. And our home track meet will be not this Saturday, but the following Saturday um, for the high school as well. So 
if you're not busy that day, stop by and uh, watch uh, watch that. There's a lot of stuff going on this month, as always. The year always gets really busy in, in April and May. Great. All right. Okay. Thank you. Um, just an update, I guess, from the district office or from the offices of the four uh, of us. Um, we're continuing to work on budget, just trying to finalize next year's budget. I have, I believe, I got the last uh, several budget sheets today for requisitions, putting those in a spreadsheet. And Lynn and I have looked at some numbers and kind of, I guess, narrowed down to try to get a clear picture on what the funding situation will be for next year. Um, the AEA and uh, I believe we're planning to meet next week, next Wednesday. Um, so um, we will hopefully have some preliminary conversations. Um, again, tying into the budget piece, realizing that about 80% of our uh, budget is in staff and benefits. Um, so that play that piece will play into the budget. And again, we'll get a much clearer picture should be able to give you a finance committee a clear picture in May and then really start narrowing in the focus in June, which should still put us in plenty of, uh, of time to order the materials that we need and supplies uh, after July for the next school year. So all that stuff, I guess, is kind of consuming our time right now uh, in the district office. Uh, I'm still doing job shadowing, um, going out. I met with Nelson Jameson today, I'm meeting with Rail um, next week. Uh, health in motion next week. Um, so like there's one more that I've got uh, scheduled. So um, again, just going out there. It seems like every time I visit one, somebody hears about it, and then I get an email or a call. Hey, we want in, and then somebody will hear about it. And we want in. Like I said, I I think last time I said it was it was just under 30. I mean now I, I'm probably closer to 40 in terms of people that want. Um, you know, want to, I guess, be there or provide yeah. an opportunity for our kids to the job shadow, which is which is cool. Um, a lot of the conversations now are we'll do this for your juniors, but if they're interested in youth apprenticeships as seniors, please send them our way. So, I mean, I, I can see this building into something even more um, than, um, than what we originally intended it for. Um, and then I can see the last thing would be um, yesterday. Um, Sheila, Sue, and I uh, went with 22 students to the um, Union 139 uh, externship in Coloma. Um, I didn't realize it was that big of a deal until you start listening to Brewer games on the radio and they advertise for Union 139 or you watch the WIA state tournament and they've got their own 30-second blurb about union workers and heavy machine operators and so on. Anyway, we took kids down there um, and they worked on the simulators with backhoes and cranes and um, trucks. truck driving and all those things. And then um, we took a tour of the facility, 400 acres, and we saw the cranes that they, play, they work on, they play with, uh, bulldozers, uh, scrapers, uh, where they make, how they make roundabouts, the GPS systems. I mean, it's just immaculate. And the highlight of the day, I think, for the kids um, and for us, I would say, um, was watching each of them get into a, uh, a back hole and dig a hole and take dirt out and put dirt back in the hole. But just to watch them have, you can see, I, I took a bunch of pictures and just the smiles on their face and the excitement from going from the simulator to actually getting in the machine on the same day and be able to, to, uh, to do those things. And they did a great job. Um, they fed us there. Kids were, I don't I, I, I can't say enough good things about how they behaved when we were going there, how they behaved on the way home. There, there, there weren't any cell phones. They were engaged. They were listening to the speakers. They were asking questions. They were getting cards. They were, it was, it was just outstanding. Our kids behaved and um, were very in tune. And I said, how many would come back next year? And all of them like, yeah call me in i mean they want more information so mm -hmm. uh, just just a great opportunity and again that was from my perspective i don't know if you want to add any more sewer sheila i just was very impressed with them i mean our students were 
They were fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and they, the message kept coming through to them also about work ethic, um, you know, how, they, how they're perceived to be on the job. I loved it when the employers talked directly to them because obviously they all sat up and listened. Um, they, they told them very bluntly about their driver's license mm -hmm. does matter. Your driving record does matter. Those kinds of things. You can't use yourself when at work. We don't want to see it. Um, punctuality. Loved it. And the kids were like, oh, <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. So their faces, you could watch their eyes as they were doing this. That was better than watching the speakers, <laughs> watching their reactions. So mm -hmm. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I invite anyone to go. Mm -hmm. And I don't operate heavy equipment, obviously, because mm -hmm. I'm not. But mm -hmm. it was great. Mm -hmm. It was great. Mm -hmm. When the students returned here, they had all positive things to say about it. It was yeah. really neat to hear their perspectives. Yeah. It was a really neat opportunity. I think it was a real eye-opener for some of them, or some of them already knew it, that the average wage for a person going, becoming a heavy you know, machinery op, machine operator, or going through that, and getting unionized, apprenticeship, and so on, is $30 an hour. You know, So for $30 an hour, you, you if you take any classes, you're... They're sending you to class. They are paying you to go to class. Um, uh, and again, the, the benefit, you know, full pension at, at 55 years of age, and the pension right now is over $100,000. So as I said, they'll make more retired than they would make on the job when they turn 55. So um, you got to work some long hours in the nice months. And like they said, if you want to stay close to home or you've got a spouse or you want to see your kids, all the time, every day, this may not be for you. But again, if those are opportunities, you want to set yourself up down the road or you're willing to put in, you know, 16, 12, 14, 13 hour days sometimes in those working months and have three months off, then that's something to consider. It was, like I said, it was a lot of kids. I could just see, yeah, they, that's for me. So, but it was, it was excellent, so. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any questions or anything else that you're, I don't know, in terms of any, what the MI or Casey or, or, or Julia are working on? Think so. Not right okay. now. Thank you. Okay, we're in, not having the focus on schools tonight. Yeah, right? yeah we, we, we had something planned. I want to have um, uh, Ms. Phillips talk a little bit about uh, the results that she found from the desk screen, but unfortunately, um, she wasn't able to make it um, this time, so we'll push that back if we could to May. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, we we tried to coordinate. I could get the numbers from her, but it it just it's doesn't do it same, justice. Yeah. She she needs to be able to explain what the what data she found and, and how that relates. So I said no more, no problem. We'll, we'll push it back to May. Sure. Okay. Uh, I guess one thing, Sue. So, uh, now she does have a program coming up that had to get rescheduled. Uh, is that coming up uh, Monday, the 29th of April now? I'm not sure. I can check. Is, is, is that, that was the know, Wood, Wood County, site? yes. Hidden in plain yes. sight. Okay. Yeah. And I thought I had saw somewhere that I, I think it's on Monday, the 29th coming up, but I'm not 100% sure on okay. that. So, you know, check it out because that's something I want to try try to attend also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know that April, was April 29th. At 6 p.m. It is okay. Theater, yeah. Yeah. That was a real popular one last year. And one of them, I yes. Was it, so. Yes. And that's the one hidden in plain sight. See you. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. Now uh, the board reports on building grounds we did not meet. No, we were going to, but we had nothing to meet on, mm -hmm. so right. we canceled it. <clears throat> Personnel committee. Oh, Personnel, we met. <coughs> Excuse me. On. Um, April 1st, and we discussed um, some concerns we had with staffing numbers for special education, and I believe later on you will find that on the agenda tonight to approve that teacher that we talked about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was the basis of our discussion. That was it. Okay. Culture committee, we Policy. Oh. Policy next. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Policy committee. Do you want to do it or do you want me? If you want to. Okay. Okay. Uh, so as policy, uh, we did uh, look over the uh, uh, the bullying 
policy and talked a little bit uh, about uh, some things with that. Uh, uh, Kayla's our CISA 5 member and through CISA 5 they did talk about it. They have uh, a uh, basically a policy that districts can look at to decide if wish to use that in addition to some of the things that we already have. Uh, and so uh, just beginning discussions on, uh, on that. Uh, and then uh, we did talk a, a little bit and read through uh, the language on the Wisconsin Academic Excellence Scholarship, Technical Excellence Scholarship, Valedictorian and Salutatorian Awards, and Student Awards and Scholarships. So we took a look at them since there were a couple questions about them. And again, we're looking at them to see if some different things uh, need to be redone with them. So uh, just in discussion uh, stages right now with all of that. Okay. Kayla, anything else to add on that? No, I don't believe so. Okay, thank you. Now, culture committee, we did not meet and we will be meeting this next week, right? April 24th. So. 24th at 3.30 p.m. So as I say, earlier in the day, we'll have Bob Lenz and such. And then later in the day, we'll be able to talk how that went and then do some planning also for the future. Curriculum committee. The curriculum committee did not meet. We were scheduled to meet next week, and that'll be postponed. We're going to move that to a later date. Okay. Uh, correspondence, any? Oh. Positive happenings. So this morning we had some students who uh, on radio on 106.5 oh, yeah. um, presented or were interviewed, I should say, by Big Red. So I believe you can go on Facebook Live and, and rewind this morning's show. You can see that um, Regan Lau and, and Abby Becker uh, were both interviewed and uh, they did a great job of, of speaking about Tractor Day and our upcoming parade and and the sponsorship family. Um, so we're uh, really excited about Tractor Day coming up Friday because that's that opportunity to present the family with the checks. And it's a lot of a lot of hard work, a lot of planning that the students have done, and uh, they're really excited about it coming coming to a close here. Now, now I had heard, is it true that that, that he is going to be here that day? That right. Yep, yep, he's going to be here. He's going to be part of the parade. Okay. Um, yeah, we also have. Uh, Carbondale Fire Department is going to lead it with a fire truck. We have um, some deputies lined up. Um, Edgar is going to be here as well for Auburndale uh, Police. So, yeah, it'll be, uh, we're all set and, and ready to go. And, and, yeah, he's really excited about being here yeah. as well. This will be the first time he's been able to attend <laughs> one. I think one of the things I, I was, the, with the, the coffee clutch is getting bigger and bigger. And some of the veterans are going to get interviewed this week. So I'm hoping some of the students relay the message to us what, what is being discussed there. Because one of the veterans told me about it, and he was pretty excited about it. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> And then I'll, I'll just mention a little what I shared before our meeting started was that, uh, yes, tonight on Channel 9, uh, Morgan Griesbach, uh, freshman uh, with our softball team, and then Coach Mike Schulte uh, were on uh, Channel 9 and should hopefully be on then at, at the 10 o'clock again this evening. Mm -hmm. And that community coffee, I mean, the people there, I think, have been very engaged in what we present and mm -hmm. what's going on at school, and they, they ask a lot of questions mm -hmm. and things like that, too. So. Mm -hmm. Your comments. No, and it's a and very I'm, positive thing. It, it is. I want to, you know, thank Mr. Yeski. He's there at almost all of them. If he's mm -hmm. not someplace else, and the community really enjoys uh, the update that he ends up giving, as well as the different things that the students have that are going on within the next couple weeks or, or month. So I, I think it's a good public speaking opportunity and learning for our students. Right. Okay. We'll move on then to the action items. <clears throat> First item is approval of extra duty wages. I'll make a motion to approve the extra duty wages. 
I'll second that. Okay, motion has been made and seconded for approval of the extra duty wages. Any discussion? Basically, they're pretty much the, the same as what we've had uh, in the past. Uh, the amounts haven't changed. Just those four that are uh, listed in red are ones that we've had. We just haven't had them listed. Okay. So we just want to make sure that they were included on the list. So just to review the list and adding those that we've been paying, but they just haven't been on the list. Okay. Okay, all those in favor of approving the extra duty wages signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Approval of miscellaneous wages. This is all things like supervision. Um, let me see, class advisors. And some mentoring stuff in there. Mentoring stuff, um, right. Uh, Summer school. Yeah, substitute coverage. Right. Okay, is there a motion for approval? I'll make a motion to approve this miscellaneous wages. I'll second it. Okay, motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? Okay, then if none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <clears throat> Approval of a special education teacher contract. Aye. I make a motion that we approve the special education teacher contract. Second that. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? The um, the person that we are offering the contract to is currently employed by another district, um, but she will be here. Um, I had a verbal commitment from her last night, so um, she's going to be a tremendous addition to our to our staff. Comes again with some experience, so we will be anxiously looking forward to seeing what she can provide. And I know Sheila said it on the interview, and uh, we were just extremely impressed and blessed that I think that, that we were going to get somebody this quality. Not only a good teacher, but I mean, just, she's just a good person. You can, you can see that in everything she said and all the things that she's done to get to this point. So it's a no brainer. I was impressed with her special yeah. education experience. It was phenomenal, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Now, is she going to be at the elementary school, the yes. little senior high? <clears throat> she, she will be at the elementary school. Um, our uh, caseload in our um, uh, elementary school for special education referrals um, has increased. Um, I mean, we went from essentially a caseload where two teachers have about 15 or 16 <clears throat> students to we've got two teachers now trying to manage 40 not 40, but two teachers trying to manage somewhere around 21, 22, 23 students per caseload. And it's it's just too much. We can't we can't provide them the services and support that they need with those two people without without frying them out. So we, we gotta relieve some pressure. This is our hope to relieve some pressure. Um, the idea being if we're able then to provide services and make those accommodations, hopefully some will begin to move out. Of the three special ed teachers that we have, two of them are certified regular ed. So as we would have attrition, as we would have retirements, there would not necessarily have to be a reduction in workforce, but we could move if our numbers go down in special ed, move one from regular from special ed to regular ed to replace retirements. And we know we're going to have those coming up. So I, I think it's it's a good move to deal with the now issue, but it also then sets us up in the future for for those transitions when they happen. Okay, all those in favor of approving the special education teacher contract, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Approval of the 2024-2025 teacher contracts. I think you have a list. And mm -hmm. pass okay. <clears throat> 
I move to approve the 24-25 teacher contracts. I'll second that. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? Pardon me? Oh, sorry. Um, I'll make that motion then. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Kayla. Okay. So, okay. So, all right. so because of that, so, <laughs> sorry. Okay. So, I will move <coughs> to approve the teacher contracts. <laughs> I should know that too. I should know that too. My name is right So I'll make the motion. Okay. You can second. I'll second it. Okay. 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 Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? Um, the only thing I see on here is that we have um, Isabel needs to have new behind new. her name. That's right. the only one. That yeah. one was missed one was printed out there, okay? The rest of them were fine, I thought. I didn't think we missed an alert, but that was just neat to have a new behind it. Okay. I think you're, yeah, yeah that's, that's nice that's to see that nice small nice. list. Okay, I just, yeah. I, when oh, I read that, I just thought. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we'll do a roll call vote, please. Okay. Kayla? Yes. I will vote yes. Sue? Yes. Well, Mike? Do I have to, too? No. Oh, yeah. You can't. You have to abstain. Because yeah. Sally? Yeah. You have she's to not immediately, is she? You know, she's always abstained before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I abstain. Okay. Mike? Yes. <laughs> Scott? Abstain. Yeah. Yeah. What do we expect in a small district? You know? <laughs> okay. Okay, motion carried. Approval of the 2024-2025 professional contracts. We have five listed there. Four. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, four. I'll make a motion to approve the 2024-2025 professional contracts. I'll second that. Motion is made and seconded. Any discussion? Just, just to clarify, um, these um, contracts, the people listed here, um, do not fall under the state statute as it relates to administrators, which is the the uh, mm -hmm. January thirtieth requirement, mm -hmm. um, and they. Um, um, do not fall under the teaching, the certified staff requirement. Um, so we always put them in this time, or actually in the past, they've been done in January, if you recall. Last year we took them off of that and then put them in as a separate group, but they're they're gonna be approved at this time moving forward. And again, it's just, again, they don't, they don't really fit into either of those other two categories. So we just kind of left them as their own. Okay. Okay, all of those in favor, you signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Approval of the 2024 summer school contracts. I move to approve the summer school contracts as presented. I'll second that. <laughs> Motion is made and seconded for approval of the summer school contracts. Any discussion? Okay, all those in favor signify by no, roll call. Roll call. Oh, roll call. Oh, okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Kayla? Yes. Um, I vote yes. Sue? Let me look. <laughs> I, I think you can. I think you can. Yes. yes. I vote yes. Mike? Yes. And Scott? Upstream. <laughs> okay, motion carried. Approval of the high school English teacher resignation. I move to approve the uh, resignation request. I will second that. Okay. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? 
Okay, all those in favor of the re accepting the resignations? Um, goodbye by saying aye. Uh, aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Approval of the health insurance plan renewal. I move to approve the health insurance plan renewal. I'll second that. Motion is made and seconded. Any discussion? As it was presented at, at finance and we were able to, to look over, uh, the initial one was quite a bit higher and then through the consortium and the superintendents, they ended up negotiating and were able to bring it down uh, a significant amount. And so, uh, so yes, uh, you know, what we have is a lot better than what the initial proposal was. And so, yes, I want to thank Mr. Yeski and the other consortium superintendents for discussing it and coming up with something that mm -hmm. is a lot more agreeable. And the coverage is? Yeah, the coverage is the same. If you remember last year, um, uh, moving from, oh, we went from essentially um, Marshfield Clinic as being our primary provider and the, we had the security health plan um, into this year where we had Aspires become the primary provider and then they threw in the option if you still want to use the clinic you can but it's going to be you pay a little bit higher premium so teachers have the two choices either the Aspires plan and security health or the Marshfield Clinic that's security health plan but the Marshfield Clinic option. Um, this is the second year of the insurance last year they quoted us and then they said the second year which would be next year 24 25 school year it would be uh capped at 9.5 percent they said it would not be higher than 9.5 percent um they originally came in and wanted to go well, well, 12 and we said no it's 9.5 and then they said 9.5 and then we looked at our usage and haggled and argued a little bit uh, and now it came back in at 8.2. So um, 8.2 is good. Um, I was hoping it was going to be less um, this year, and I shared this with the AEA as well. Um, the previous two years, our usage was 120, I think at 123%. Um, so we were getting paid 123% or 23% more than we paid in our, in our premiums. So insurance companies can't make money that way. So that's why obviously the, the amounts go up. This year, our usage is about 80%. So all those years when all the other schools in the consortium were carrying us with our high usage, well, this is our turn this year to carry those that may have a higher usage. But um, again, that's the advantage of having the consortium is you don't have those big increases or those drops when you don't have the use and it balances out but I mean overall um, again I, I think it's a I think it's not it, it's good for us as we try to budget and, and prepare for next year so again I recommend you accept that as is okay plans haven't changed that's what you're asking, that was what I was asking. Yeah, yeah, plans haven't changed deductibles um, coverage uh, drug costs uh, all that stuff I mean, the plan in network, out of network, that's all the same. Okay. Plan Wait. doesn't change. Okay. Okay, motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Approval of the CESA 5 annual meeting delegate. I'll make a motion to approve myself. Okay, I'll, I'll make a motion to have Kayla become our <laughs> annual meeting delegate. For I'll second five. That. Okay, motion is made and seconded to have Kayla be the delegate. Any discussion? Kayla, you obviously will accept that nomination. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, and thank you for being our delegate, yeah. not yeah, only for the annual meeting, but for other meetings and bringing back information for right. us. So yes, thank you. Okay, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Approval of the CESA 5 services contract. I move to approve the CESA 5 services contracts. I'll second. 
Motion is made and seconded for approval of the CC5 services contract. Uh, any discussion? No, any of these contracts, uh, this is what we pay when we use them, right? Yeah, um, th this is what they're quoting. Um, there's there's two parts to that, the special education part, if you're looking at that at the top, mm -hmm. and it's a special education. Those are the services that we receive through CESA that are tied to our students' individualized educational plan. So if we have a IEP for a student that says they need to have uh, 90 minutes of uh, audiology per week, then CESA takes those, looks at all those IEPs, and then they say, okay, they're going to need, in this case, 210 units of audiology. This is what it's going to cost. So then they, they provide the audiologist, or they provide OT, they provide BT. They'll do um, uh, uh, visually impaired. You can see all these ones here. Mm -hmm. um, orientation, uh, mobility, uh, those sorts of things. So that's tied to, to that side of it. The other part is the curriculum side. That's that first part, the operational services. Included in that would be our, our library services. If you remember, we have to have mm -hmm. a, um, uh, a licensed library person in order to get uh, library aid uh, and so on. So the majority of those costs are tied to special education. I will say that this year's projected cost, that number at the bottom, is $98,000 less than we had the current year. And the biggest reason being, we are not going to receive any speech and language pathologist support from CESA next year. We have a full-time person in place. We did not have that this year. And our OT and PT um, costs went down because we have fewer students needing OT and PT, again, as defined within the IEP. So um, those two, I guess, are the, are the two big areas where we are able to cut cost from last year um, moving forward into, into next year. And, and so uh, I think a year ago, uh, I had asked a little bit about the, the library and such, so library services. Uh, so the uh, CISA knows that, yes, we want the uh, library person that's working with us to make sure to reach out and find out the things that we we need and such, correct? And they've, they've been doing that, yes. Okay. okay. Both, both to the, the principals and to the staff? Yes. Okay. <coughs> okay. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. Uh, opposed? Motion carried. Approval of bus transportation contract. I move to approve the bus transportation contract uh, with option one. Thank you. I'll second that. Okay. Motion is made and seconded. Any discussion? So as I mentioned with the finance report, Jake was here. We looked at the different things. We, did, we discussed what uh, they could end up doing what they were providing us and you know where where we could go financially on things. And so when you look at it, the, the first one on the left is the 24 25, uh, the schedule A, and then the middle one is option one. Uh, and uh, it ends up being a 3% a increase each year then for this. Uh, and that goes and includes the uh, payment for the bus drivers per hour for the, the co-curricular miles in addition to the, the number of routes that we end up having. And, and the fuel clause stays the same. Yeah. So there's no increase in that, which is good for us, mm -hmm. not knowing what fuel is going to do in a year or two. Yeah. And I guess the other thing is, so we approved this two years ago with, with the money. And it is a four-year contract, so two years are up. Here's now the new figures for the next two years. 
we are extending the contract for another two years. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is a, a four year contract so that they can work on improvements for the bus. Uh, I say over the past year, we've got cameras on all the buses and that has helped tremendously. Uh, Jake did talk about looking for grants, uh, both to help him with some bus costs, uh, possibly into uh, getting an electric bus uh, and, and to see how, how that would end up going. And he is talking with area school districts that do have electric buses as to the pros and cons and things you got to you know watch out for so things can work out well. Okay. okay motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <clears throat> Um, we need a motion for closed session pursuant to Wisconsin statutes 19.85 pair one pair C for the purpose of pair C considering employment promotion compensation or performance evaluation data of any public employee over which the governmental body has jurisdiction or exercises responsibility and this is the district administrator evaluation. I have a motion to go to close. I move to go to close. I'll second that. Motion is made and seconded. So roll call vote. Scott? Yes. Mike? Yes. Sue? Yes. I vote yes. Kayla? Yes. Okay, the motion carried. We are going to close our second. I know. Thank you, half hour. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 45 minutes, I think. Okay.